Hi, welcome back. This is Basic Calculus and our lesson is on chain rule. This is the third example which has an exponent of one third. So it's still a fraction and the whole expression is still raised to a certain exponent. Thus, we have to use chain rule. Let's begin. Okay, first we have to identify our formula and the formula is y prime is equal to n times u prime times u raised to n minus 1. And then let's identify the parts of the formula. One third is our exponent, which will be our value for n. The expression inside of the parenthesis will become u. If our u is x squared plus 2x plus 1, then let's identify u prime by getting the derivatives. x squared, if you would get the derivative of that, it will just be 2x by power rule plus, how about for this 2x now, uh, will be 2 times 1 because of identity rule for x. So that will just be 2. And then here 1 will be dropped because the derivative of a constant will just be 0. Now that we have the parts, let's substitute. y prime is equal to n, which is 1 third, times u prime, which is 2x plus 2, times u, the original expression, x squared plus 2x plus 1, raised to one-third minus one. Let's simplify what we could simplify. So y prime is equal to 2x plus 2 over 3. Let's keep the parenthesis to remind us that it is actually multiplied to this expression here. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. One-third minus 1, that will just be negative two-thirds. If you're wondering how we do that, okay, let me show you. We have one-third minus 1. Think of um, a number that will have a denominator of 3 but is still equal to 1. So that's 3 over 3. Now subtract that. 1 minus 3 would be negative 2 over 3. So that's how you got negative two-thirds there manually. All right, so let's proceed to um, the simplification. This is one of the correct answers, but could still be simplified further. So you have a negative exponent here. Thus, you could put that in the denominator, which would then be written as 2x plus 2 all over 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 raised to 2 thirds. If you want to return it, to, or if you want to transform it to radical, a radical expression, you'll have 2x plus 2 all over 3 times, take note of this, the cube root of the whole expression, x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared. These are not required. Um, these are just modifications and other simplifications. And that's it for this example.